Hey guys, I've been playing around with the Asus ZenBook 14X OLED Space Edition, and I've run into a pretty catastrophic issue with this laptop. And that is the CPU and integrated GPU dropping down to 400 megahertz and 100 megahertz respectively when running a heavy program on battery. So as you can see right now, the frame rates were at 60 FPS in Fermark, but then they suddenly dro uh, dropped to 4 FPS for a couple of seconds, rose back to 60 FPS for a couple of seconds and dropped right back down. And if we look at the CPU frequency here, it's jumping between a normal frequency of about two gigahertz to 400 megahertz or 0 0.4 gigahertz um, in a cyclic pattern. And the same thing goes for the integrated GPU going from about a gigahertz to 100 megahertz. Now, this is totally not normal behavior. For example, this is my Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Yoga Gen 6, and it's running the same thing on battery as well. And even though it has a slower CPU to begin with, um, and it's running at a lower FPS in Fernmark with the same settings, it does not jump in terms of its uh, CPU or GPU frequencies. That is the behavior that we should see from a laptop when running under battery, providing stable performance so that frame rates, processing speed, etc., do not fluctuate greatly or dramatically. So what does this mean in real life usage? So I'm loading up Forza Horizon 5 right now. We're about to enter benchmark mode. And it's not even in the actual gameplay yet, and already we're seeing the frame rate drop to 3 FPS. And as you can see, this makes the game absolutely unplayable. You might say this is not a gaming laptop, so it's not fair to judge it using gaming benchmarks. Fine, let's just run something really normal like a Windows security virus scan. And even with that, we can see that the CPU frequency is hopping up and down to 400 megahertz. This doesn't happen every single time, but pretty much as soon as you take the CPU over 30 or so watts, it triggers this bouncing of frequency that just keeps on going until the load completely disappears, until you quit the whatever heavy program you're running. So why is this happening? We know it's not related to temperature. It's happening even when the CPU is only at 60 degrees which is far away from its thermal throttling threshold. So it's got nothing to do with thermal throttling. Instead, if we look in performance limit reasons in HW Info here, we see a few potentially related things happening. And they're all related to either ICC Max or PL4, whether that's for the IA or CPU cores, or GT or graphics cores, or Ring, which is for the peripheral circuitry on the CPU package. So what this suggests to me is it's running into a current limit that's related to the power output from the battery. Because voltage times current is power, and there is a limit to how much power the battery can output. And so it's running right into this wall of current limit, and it just shuts the CPU almost completely to a halt in order to uh, prevent uh, exceeding this current limit, uh, which would cause the computer to brown out. But the proper way to handle this is, like we saw on the Lenovo, it's to gracefully control the power output to an equilibrium level that can still be handled by the battery, but doesn't make the whole computer slow to a halt. And the way Asus has handled this is absolutely inappropriate. You might be wondering, can you use Throttle Stop to fix this? Well, if anything, Throttle Stop makes it worse because if you set a higher power limit in Throttle Stop, it causes the CPU to burst to a higher power level, which has a higher chance of triggering this current limit. And unfortunately for this CPU, the ICC Max is not adjustable, so we can't lift that current limit. Asus did release a BIOS update on May 9th, but unfortunately it did not change this behavior at all. The only workaround I've found so far is to use Whisper Mode in the My Asus app, which effectively limits your package power to about 17 or 18 watts, 
So the CPU then runs at a slow enough rate that it never triggers that current limit. But this is definitely not an ideal solution because it limits the overall performance of the computer significantly. I got in touch with Andre from ultrabookreview.com and he has confirmed this behavior on his Space Edition as well. So he's reached out to Asus for an answer about this, but we have yet to hear back. I'm looking forward to hearing what Asus has to say about this because I can't recommend buying the Space Edition until they fix this problem.